dazzle your guests with an elegant New Year celebration courtesy of Chef Mark Quinones. Hi, Chef Mark Quinones. <laughs> the guy who puts the fine in dining, and that is at Bien Shur, located at Sandia Casino and Resort. And may I just say, thank you for treating me to an amazing dinner there when I was in town. And I, I just, I have to tell you, it was brilliant, really. Thank you. Brilliant. He's an artist, I swear, not just a chef. So let me ask you this. What does Bien Shur have planned for New Year's? Uh, we're, we're doing a special menu. Okay. And we know we're featuring king prawns. Ooh. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a pre-free menu in addition to our regular menu that we're going to have. So you can go there and have you know any of your favorites off the. Oh, you can. You'll yeah, still have those. Exactly okay. off my winter uh, menu, okay. or you can order my special menu uh, at a really good deal per person. So it's oh, a, that's awesome. It's gonna be a, a fun night. Yeah, it is a fun night because there's first of all, it's very romantic. I have to say, just the view alone and the way that the decor is across the restaurant. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to spend the night, and the food cannot be beat. So you're going to make one of your dishes for us today, correct? Yes. And what is this? This is our uh, local Talis Ranch uh, rack of lamb. It's delicious, I have yeah. to say. I did have it when I was there, and it, it's fantastic. So let's tell our viewers exactly what it encompasses. Well, the best thing about this dish, Nikki, is that it's local. Mm -hmm. Talas Ranch is about 35 miles uh, southeast of uh, Santa Fe. Yes. And, you know, supporting our local farmers, you know, it's, it's, it's a great thing. I've said that before. Yeah, you, you know, it's do. Any chance to keep it local, we should do it. Absolutely. And you're pairing it with something that is super fantastic. This is a uh, <laughs> potato terrine, and it features two different potatoes. Yeah. It's a sweet potato and a russet potato that I take in a julienne and a mandolin. Uh -huh. And then I take that with heavy cream and nutmeg and garlic, oh. salt, pepper, the recipe's on the website, and then you bake it. Yes, and that's yeah. what gets the crisp, right? Exactly. And oh. the key to this is after you bake it, you want to you want to press it down for okay. at least 12 hours in the refrigerator oh, really? to, to compress the terrine. Oh, that's how you get that shape? Exactly. Oh, okay. You, you can serve it warm, um, maybe more like in a square shape or kind of like mounted on the plate. Okay. But you're not going to have that that compound, uh, you know, texture. If right, the consistency of it is different, I think, because it almost right. feels like you're eating like a potato pie. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I this love This is it. a great holiday dish. Let's say you're waking up in the morning and you're about to go shopping at the mall. Uh -huh. You can wake up, bake your terrine off, put it in the refrigerator and press it, go shopping. When you come back and okay. you see your lamb, your terrine's done. That's a great point. That's a great point. And you're also doing it with asparagus, right? A little bit of a, a blanched asparagus that I'm going to saute okay. here in a second. Okay. And then we're doing it with the cherry gastrique. Ooh. Yeah, it's a fantastic, fantastic well, sauce. You know, lamb and cherry go really combo. well together. I thought it was really interesting when I had the white asparagus. And you said, didn't I have white asparagus that night too? Right. And what, what, how do you get it to that color? What, what did you explain to me? Well, the white asparagus, the, the way it works is that they, they pick them before they turn green. Right, right, right. That's right. before it pigments uh -huh. and the color changes. That's when they pull them. So it's going to have a, a different uh, flavor profile. Yes, yes. It's going to have a little bit more of a, you could say, I, I don't want to use the word bitter, maybe, maybe more tart flavor. Yeah, it was. Right. It's was interesting, But it's, it's a fantastic, it's, it's a special treat whenever you're able to get the white asparagus. Definitely. It was amazing. And I also like the fact that you always cook, and I've talked about it before, but you always cook in the grapeseed oil. And why don't you tell our viewers why you do that? Uh, grapeseed oil is fantastic, uh, first and foremost, because it doesn't impeach the integrity of the flavor mm -hmm. of whatever it is you're cooking. Yeah. Right? It, it enhances it. I love that. I really love that. And it has a high smoke point. It, it doesn't burn. Now, how long do you want to cook, how long do you want to cook the lamb actually on the, or sear it, I should say, right? I, I would say four to five minutes on each side. That's it? Right. Oh. And I recommend serving it between medium rare and medium. Okay, why? Yeah. Just better flavor? Yeah, better flavor, better texture. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go past that, that's fine as well. Okay. But I just, I recommend, you know, mid rate to medium. Okay. And so now, what would be our next step? We're going to sear it on the back side. And okay. I, I used a little bit of salt and black pepper. Normally, mm. if I'm cooking fish, I use white pepper. Right, right. Right, because it, it doesn't have the black specks on getting your teeth. Yes. When you're cooking a nice wild game meat or a red meat, uh -huh. it really works to have a nice black pepper because it stands up to that flavor. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That makes you know, sense. It really stands up to that black pepper flavor and it really complements the lamb. Yeah, it, do it definitely does. Now, once you've done all the, th the prep work, like you said, did you have to do anything else to this or you just put it in the pan and let it, and let yeah, it warm Yeah, up? you put it in the pan and, uh -huh. you know, you form it, you press it down, okay. and then you cover it, you let it bake. And that's it? Exactly. When it comes out, you press it down with another pan okay. and you put it in your refrigerator that's for so a couple easy. hours just so it compresses. And how and long do you, you want to let it nice bake? 45 minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because the fact that you're julienne in it and it's nice, it's mm, real skinny, strips, it cooks really fast. That's a good point. And you, but you do want to get that extra crisp. Yes. That's the best part. You okay, do. so now here comes the artist. <laughs> so <what laughs> He's such an artist when he works. <laughs> it just amazes me. So what, what we're doing here, Nikki, is we're going to go ahead and get our asparagus. Okay. 
And I like starting off with a little bit of butter. Oh yeah, Just a little flavor. A little flavor, Flav. <laughs> a little yeah, salt. Boy. I'm not going to put any pepper with the asparagus, okay? Because you're going to okay. have the pepper flavored coming from your lamb. Coming from the lamb. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice mixture because you're getting your starches, you're getting your protein, you're getting your veggies. It's a good, and you kind of do that with all the dishes. And and I also just want to mention that you know there's so much to do because you go to the end for dinner, and then you can enjoy all the music and the entertainment, and then yes. you can go. You know, gamble responsibly and you, Thur so Thursday night we have a live salsa band in the lounge. Oh, nice. And then we have a, like an 80s cover band Friday and Saturday in, in the lounge Perfect. as well. So it, it's really nice. It's laid back. Yeah. You know, it has a real nice, relaxed feel to it. It's a great vibe. A it real really nice is. vibe to it. It really is. And even though, you know, you can't go outside in the winter or you don't at least want to, but the view, like I said, you look out those windows, it is spectacular. I'm telling you, it is, it's camera picture worthy for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. For well, sure. So we have another minute or so, so I have to taste this. Do you think I'll be able to taste it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, that, did you just put some wine? Yeah, a little, bit of, smell? a little bit of white wine. Oh, it smells so good. Just cooking mm -hmm. wine? Yeah, just a little bit of white cooking wine. Okay. We're going to take our terrine. Okay, we have just a little under a minute. So through the magic right of TV, you've already got this done. Exactly. Absolutely beautiful. Put our terrine right here. Okay. There's asparagus in. Take our asparagus and... We're going to mount it on an angle. And he makes everything look extra beautiful. Oh my gosh, so fantastic. And we're going to take a little bit of our... Everybody, one more time, the intro is located on the top floor of Sandia Resort and Casino. And, uh, you know, just head on up that elevator and I'll tell you what, you're in for quite a ride. Oh yeah. Just a few seconds left. Do it, do it, do it. We're going <laughs> to cut it right here. Bravo. There it goes. I don't want to mess it up and taste it. <laughs> Again, go to Casa.com for today's recipe. We'll be right back. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>